Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize for my uh, absence of a couple of days. I haven't been feeling very well. And if you can hear that or see that in me, I apologize. I'm just not feeling 100%. I just really wanted to have a video out for you guys. I also really wanted to say hi to all the new people who have found me recently. It's really cool that you've decided to join me on my little YouTube journey, which is why I thought that I would open uh, this video up to any questions that you guys might have so I can do a Q&A video. I haven't done one of those in a while. So if you have any questions for me, just let me know in the comments and I will make a video answering all of your guys' questions. So without further ado, here's my weekly makeup basket with all of my makeup choices for the week. I'm still working away on my Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. Uh, this stuff is okay. I've been liking it more to pep up my makeup once it's already been on as opposed to something I put on before. But for primers, my eye primer is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in the Anti-Aging Formula. No surprise there, I love this stuff. And my Body Shop Matte It Primer uh, that's in my Finish 7 by Spring. These are, this is a great primer. I've really been enjoying using this again. It isn't super mattifying, I would say, but it definitely makes my skin feel really, really good. Next, for eye products, I have my Essence Stay All Day Long Lasting Eyeshadow in Copyright. This is an, an okay cream eyeshadow. That's what it looks like there. I used it today um, when I was doing my makeup. It's not a super high pigmented product but it's definitely very very pretty and it definitely complements things that are in the Naked palette. Speaking of the Naked palette, um, so I'm not going to show you the inside of this, I'm saving that for my Pan Matte palette update, but I've been working really hard on these shadows again um, in the new year, hoping to make some more progress. I'm really really hoping to have completely finished a shadow by the next time I do my Pan Matte palette update. For brows and eyeliner, this is the same as it's been. Um, this is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Medium Brown. This stuff is amazing. Totally changed my life. Really, really, really love this stuff. And the MAC uh, PowerPoint Eye Pencil in Engraved. Uh, this, as I've said before, is just a simple matte black eyeliner, but it's been doing the trick for all my eye looks. I haven't even been using a lot of eyeliner. So for foundation, I'm still using my Clinique Pore Refining Solutions Instant Perfecting Makeup. Um, this is an alabaster. This is all right. Um, it's not the best color match for me. Definitely a little bit too dark, but I need to get this out of my collection and it's been wearing fine. I put two concealers in here this week, my flower concealer, which I wear under my eyes and am totally obsessed with, as well as the little mini I have of the Benefit Fake Up. This stuff, I wish there was more in this sample. This is a really, really nice concealer. I've just had a little bit of prob some problematic skin things. But this is really, really nice. It blends really, really, really smoothly. I love this. For face powder, I am still going with my Revlon Nearly Naked in light. Uh, this stuff, as I've said before, is too dark for me because I'm crazy pale. This brings my skin maybe a shade darker so that I look just a little bit more healthier. I have my Benefit Little Mini Hula Bronzer again. No, I have not hit pan on this yet. Man, this little thing is lasting forever. Um, but I've been using this daily uh, just for a little bit of contouring. For blush, still going with my CoverGirl blush in Roses. This really beautiful natural blush. Um, it is really, really nice for making your skin look really natural and glowy. But just like last time, sometimes I just want a little bit more of a punch when I'm doing my blush. So I actually chose a different Milani blush this week. This is a Milani blush in Dolce Pink. And this is beautiful. I layered this today um, on top 
of that covergirl blush and i just love how instantly it made me look that much more alive once again i'm trying to use the laura mercier highlighter i really just haven't been craving a highlighty skin um, I don't know, I used a little bit today on the inner corners of my eyes and then on my cupid's bow a little bit, but as for an actual like on the face highlighter, I just don't feel like I need it all of the time. Um, it's really, really pretty, but it's just not the makeup look that I like. I forgot to mention mascara when I was talking about eye things. Um, this is the Buxom Mascara in Blackest Black. As I've said before, just trying to work through some of my little mascara samples in my Project 20 pan. And last but certainly not least, let's talk about lip products. So I threw in my Tarte uh, lipstick in Inspired again because it is my favorite and beautiful and I just need to get one of the little, just need to get this little sample guy out so that I can use the full sizes that I bought. And I'm wearing Inspired today, layered with this Maybelline lipstick in Touch of Spice. I actually picked this up um, when I was in the middle of doing my 30 day lipstick challenge and because I watched so many tutorials where people were talking about it and it is gorgeous. It is very, very similar to Inspired, which is why it, they work so, so well together. So Inspired is here and this is Touch of Spice. Together they are perfect. And then I layered the Urban Decay Lip Junkie in Naked on top to make it even a little bit more glossy and I really really am liking this lip combination. So that's the lip gloss swatched there, Touch of Spice from Maybelline and the Inspire lipstick there. This is what I'm wearing on my lips today and I love this. But in case I get a little bit bored of that, I did choose two other lip products to use um, just in case I felt like switching it up a little bit. I have a little mini uh, nude lipstick from Hourglass. Um, called Grace. This was one of the 100 point perks from Sephora I picked up a while ago. So that's that in Grace swatched there. Um, yeah, it's a really, really, it looks like a really, really pretty nude color. I think I've only tried this on my lips once. And then the last one I decided to throw one in is one that I haven't even tried on my lips yet. This is a L'Oreal lipstick in Sunset Angora. And this does look like a very summery color. However, I just thought that I could maybe use something a little bit different. So I haven't even swatched this, honestly. I just was kind of going through and looking at, a, at the drugstore one day and I bought a whole bunch of things. Um, so that's that swatch there. And I do think it's a really, really beautiful pink color. And I don't actually think it looks that summery now that I'm looking at it. I think this will look really, really nice um, paired with the Naked palette. So those are the lip swatches I have here for the week. Um, inspired, Tarte, Touch of Spice from Maybelline, the Urban Decay Lip Junkie and Naked, um, Hourglass Grace, and L'Oreal Sunset Angora. So that is all for my weekly makeup basket this week. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for putting up with my lack of energy and general sickness. Um, I just really, really missed making videos and I really, really missed communicating with you guys. So anyway, as I said at the beginning of this video, if you want to leave me any questions, please do uh, leave them for me down below. Um, if you just have any general questions at all about any of the products that I'm using um, in my weekly makeup baskets, also leave those down below. Uh, I will respond to you guys right there. Thank you so, so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really, truly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I will see you in the next one where hopefully I am feeling better. Bye.